All right, we're going to figure out what kind of train wreck this is going to be. <laughs> oh, man. We got that new hotness coming at you. <laughs> Uh, we decided that we didn't want to just invade your ear holes once a week, but we wanted to do it twice a week. Because mm, the only thing better than forcing myself on you once is doing it twice. It's not forcing if you yell surprise. Surprise! Hey. Oh. <laughs> we do not advocate you forcing yourself upon anybody. <laughs> if you are subscribed to this show, I'm taking that as consent. Um... <laughs> Anyways, so we're going to bring you a uh, new piece of content that we're going to do. Here's how it's going to work. We're going to call it D&D. Drink and debate. There you go. That makes it legally different. (laughs) Uh, So what it's going to be is that our producer, Googles, Googles. is going to give us a topic and a time limit. I like how he shook his hands. He doesn't even have a camera. Yeah, no, it was great. (laughs) He could have been like, hi. (laughs) Uh, So he's going to give us a topic and a time limit. Give and we chance. are going to have that much time for the three of us to make our strongest argument uh, about the topic. So this might be a versus. It might be a, hey, what are your general thoughts? Yes. Whatever it is going to be. Um, I, I don't see that there ever being a winner in this, but it should make for some interesting <laughs> conversation. And hopefully uh, we we make some of y'all out there smile. So uh, this is the Warhammered D&D session. Drink and debate. Makes it legally different. Uh, brought to you by Battle Pub Games. Uh, I'm Jazz. That's Ozzy. Hello. And that's Caitlin. Hi. Googles. What's the topic this week? <gasps> All right. So the topic this week is going to be everybody knows Lucius Eternal. Yes. He can live forever. He can still die in combat. However, if you should feel pride in taking him down in combat, mm-hmm. he will so then take over your body and become you instead. Right. So who in the Warhammer universe do you think could defeat Lucius the Eternal and not be <sighs> consumed by his essence? Ooh. Oh. Oh. That's a- uh, my first answer is going to be Squishy, the, the little servitor that guides me oh, around yeah, and the space marine. Because uh, he's, he's definitely got my ass killed a fucking few times. <laughs> And he clearly has no uh, fucking idea where he's going. He's <laughs> clueless, and he's not proud of anything because no. he's just like, because uh, he's the whole like to rest is to finally like <laughs> die with honor or whatever it is. Like he's, he's like, so depressed. Kill me. Rosie, um, he's like that depressed robot in um, what's that movie? Call it twenty minutes. Oh, okay, oh. twenty minutes. That movie. Uh, don't forget your blanket or towel at the end of the universe. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that one. She's talking about Marvin the robot. <laughs> oh. uh, wow, that was <laughs> <laughs> my movie descriptions are impeccable. I feel so bad for that author. So who could? Um, um, who could? Okay, so mm-hmm. the question is, who could beat Lucius the Eternal and not be proud of it? I'm assuming it has to be somebody that's alive now that Lucius's curse is functioning. So it's, we're talking about who's a, in the 40K universe oh, could beat him and not be proud of it. it. it well, I mean, the easy answer is the angel. The angel? Sanguinius. In, no. In Sanguini- oh, Sanguinius would wipe the floor with him. No. He could beat And wouldn't him. give a shit afterwards. would just be like, meh. Because he's just a space marine. I think any Primarch steps in and just fucking yeah. waxes that ass. Um, but not all sp- not all Primarchs are not going to be boastful about it. Uh, Lehman Russ would be boastful about it. So, so Sanguinius is also dead. Yeah. Right. Sanguinius like, also inf- dead. That's why I said, it was, so we're talking about a, a 40K person is, okay. Uh, so the curse, um, go- if, if you kill him and you're boastful about it, you get the curse. Then. Like if, if you, are, if you, you kill him pride. and you are proud of the fight at all. Got it. He uh, takes over your body. Then he takes over your body and you become part of his armor. Titus. Um, Titus. Titus. No. No. I don't, I don't think he could. I don't think he could do it and not be proud of it. He had to be proud of it. I think he would be. Yeah. Dude, he's the one that he's like, raise the banner fucking for the... Like, he's all about the whole, like, pride of the Imperium and, like, I did my 200 years of service, so, like... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's incredibly prideful. If it was 30K, if she could beat him. Can't do 30K. It's got to be 40K. I don't know a lot of 40K people. Uh, I'm going to go with any custode. Oh, uh, that, any custode. that cool ass sister of silence from that oh, Warhammer TV yeah, show. She doesn't give a fuck. Oh, 
Yeah, whoever the, the, the sister that was hanging out with the, the female custode. For the tithe show? Yeah, yeah she, she was badass. Was shit. I yeah. would say probably her. Does that work? Yeah. Oh, we're just talking about media and, and canonical media. Uh, the dude from The Interrogator. The, oh, the noir? The, the noir show? The guy that's the mm. semi-psyker? Nope, I think he'd still be prideful. Really? Yeah. He mm. watched a child die. He's got a lot of emotional turmoil. <laughs> If it was 30K, I was going to say Mercedes uh, Olatron or whatever the fuck her name is. I'm not familiar with that model. The reason I would say that the interrogator would feel pride is not it feel pride in the fact that he killed Lucius, feel proud of himself for winning. And that's all it takes. Mm. So my, my answer for it is Calvert Draco. Okay, well, you're not part of the debate, so you just sit yeah, there and look pretty. Can't take my answer now. Well, Mercedes is... I don't know who the fuck is, that is. Is the chick that was on the vengeful spirit that becomes like essentially Sister Teresa and everyone like worships her because she oh, has like all yeah, this psychic yeah, energy. Yeah, yeah, I would yeah. say her if it was 30K or 40K. I don't know if she's still alive. I doubt it. I didn't really read the entire Horus Heresy, so I don't know where she ends up yet. I know she was on the Flight of the Eisenstein book. Oh, yeah. She's on the Eisenstein. Okay. She's a captain. Um. I think the 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 warlord of the Carcharodons would do it and not give a fuck because I think he'd just squish him. Yeah, squish. I don't. I'm I'm trying to think of anybody that would that could fight him and because wouldn't get in the fight to fight the swordsman. Mm-hmm. Like, and that's where like we're not do it for honor. It, you're not going to get into it to see who's like who's better at crossing yeah. the blade. So if you put a character in there that just, could just that just walks in and goes, <laughs> and it's just like the female okay? custody. On. That's what I'm saying. Like any custode, like yeah, yeah. the most one on one space marine against a custode, the custode's going to take it every time. Yeah, um, Sister of with a very few exceptions. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the I could see that. the warlord, the the chapter master of uh the Carcharodons, yeah, the red shark boy, who uh, wake, red wake, yeah. Um, what the fuck's his name? Tiberos. Uh. <laughs> I, and I literally think it's because there would be no yeah. physical challenge. Mm-hmm. And Lucius is so cocky about he's so good and I'll come back anyways that he he tends to close that gap really quickly. Like yeah. he's just in his fighting style. Mm-hmm. But I think he gets too close to Tiberos and Tiberos just oh, goes, yeah. thunk, and it's, it's like just big ass fucking claw. On. <laughs> yeah. And just turns him into a grease spot. And then uh-huh. it's just like. Okay. <laughs> and then he just turns around and leaves. Like <laughs> he's not going to sit there and be like very quietly. Because Tibero, they're like so far out in the middle of fucking nowhere anyways that he doesn't know who Glucius yeah. is, so he can't be Lucy. Pro- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lucy. Lucy. Not the Glucius. Not the Glucius. Not the Glucius brother. <laughs> and uh, so I just, I don't think he cares. Uh, like there's, there's so little that he goes up against now that's a challenge at all. Mm-hmm. So uh, Tiberos, I mean. Out there. All the, Parsons? Yeah. Um, just some other dude probably that fucking appears to yeah, him, to him it's just gonna be like yeah. oh look another chaos space marine it Not like crazy thunk it like yeah. it doesn't he doesn't I give think a, a shit. bunch of people would say the emperor but the emperor would definitely be proud about killing spills especially those just <laughs> lucius yep <laughs> Glucius. good yeah, old Glucius. Glucius. <laughs> <laughs> i'm brother who's gonna be <laughs> That's 26 character name. <laughs> <And that's, laughs> does, does your name have just a tilde in it? Like there's no. It's <laughs> <laughs> one fucking tilde. It's just a tilde. No <laughs> letter. Just sir. Can, can you sign your name on this order, though, please? But <laughs> we're done. I'm not sure that's an official signature. <laughs> no, that's a, that's <laughs> My space brain arc is that weird 90s S. <laughs> Awesome. But I think you're right on. I think I'm, yeah, game. my my I'm gonna go Tiberos. I think Tiberos yeah, could do it. I think he could I do think it. it would be an insanely short fight. Yeah. Uh I don't think Tiberos knows who the fuck he is. <laughs> yeah. So there's gonna be no pride of it. He's just gonna go like look at this <laughs> motherfucker bouncing around all over the place and then just thunk and it's gonna be anything it's gonna be like, well, that was fucking weird. Toblerone. Anyway. There, he's just gonna be like, "What a weird motherfucker!" And then just like turn around and leave. <laughs> yeah. Like he's gonna be like, "I got kids to snatch." <laughs> like they're, they're fucking. Take my tithe now. Yeah. yeah. Take my tithe. Like yeah, I'm gonna go. Corrupting my tithe. I think. I think. 
Yeah. Brother Toblerone. Brother <laughs> Toblerone. He's going to hit him with that log. <laughs> Oh, dude. Uh, if I my chain chocolate <laughs> power bar, <And> <laughs> did you imagine a chain sword, but it's just Toblerone bricks? <laughs> now with more RPMs. What's inside the Toblerone? Is it caramel? What's in the hazelnut? It's hazelnut. Isn't it? Oh, dude. Yeah, get nutted. Okay. <laughs> The power sort of power <laughs> Get nutty with it. Like, da, 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 ba, ba, of, like, Can you imagine it's, it's just a get giant total <laughs> on a stick? <laughs> oh, dude. The rapper comes off. Also, when you feel hungry in the middle of a fight. <laughs> I handicap you can't be proud of that. Half of my sword. You can't be proud of getting beat to death with a chocolate bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dishonorable death. This is the right Twix, you bitch. <laughs> like some safe throw <laughs> shit. <laughs> you got beat to death with the dildo sword. I'm going to go to Tiburos. You're going with the, the Sister of Silence. Yeah, huh? that chick yeah, from I the, can the cartoon. Custodes. I don't know her name. Mm. They don't really say her name, but she's a Sister of Silence. With the what high about the, um, um, the Eversore Assassins? Isn't that the sniper? The Eversore? Mm, got me. The chick with the long red hair? No, that's the Vindicare. I think the Eversore is the sniper. The dude? Well, there's four houses. There's the Vindicare Assassins. So it's the Vindicare, the Calexus, which is the, like the Rage one, I think. Yeah, is the Eversore are the Berserk Killers. So, okay, Eversore is the Rage one that use all the stims and shit. Is it the Calaxis that's the sniper? I know who could kill him. And <gasps> who? Feel. Say it. A swarm lord. A swarm lord. <laughs> yeah, how does that work? Like, how does that work if it's killed in a If biomass. essentially a, a mindless. Oh, okay. uh, it's the Calexus is the sniper. Yeah, if like something like a mindless mm -hmm. bug yep. just eats him. Yep. A norn emissary, they're going to send that bitch and it's going to squash him on the fucking spot, dude. That's yeah, true. The but, guy that's like, yeah. I'm a great sword fighter. And they're going to be like, yeah. then I guess the See question thing? is, is, is have yeah. there been research on the hive mind and if it has emotions? We don't know now because of their whole synapse thing. See? But Wait, but that's just a connection. They, that doesn't yeah, mean they feel. Just that's just an information traffic. Yeah. yeah, we're looking for emotions. And you, if you have to kill them with pride, if they feel yeah. anything, it's just rage and or fear. Yeah. It like, Hunger. yeah, I, I mean, but we're but, talking about incredibly like base yeah, level the, feelings. The, they're not going to feel true emotion. Yeah, they're going to be like, "Oh, I fucking killed that guy." Go back to the fucking. Room. I don't think that's ever been <laughs> covered in the lore. Babies that the fucking. I don't think it's ever been covered in the lore that what happens if he's killed by a, a tyrannid, mm, like know, a because there's bugs that'll do it. Other, yeah, easily. Yeah, hive tyrant. Norns. Norns. Yeah. The Norn is literally the big fucking. Um, hey, kill that. The shit. big. But the Calexus assassins are almost lobotomized. Like they're, like they're just. What? The the Calexus assassin from the Imperium that the sniper, mm -hmm. they're like almost lobotomized. Like that's why they can just sit there still forever and then make the perfect shot. Mm -hmm. uh, you think of the Vindicare. Vindicare. That's who I'm talking about. The Vindicare. It's like they're they're almost lobotomized and they just sit behind a rifle and just go pink and yeah like. So if they got him on the right planet and that guy, and they just went, here's your target. And he just went, okay. Yeah. Like, and just, I could fucking mm. blows his brain away from yeah. a fucking mile they out. Like, don't know who it is. Yeah. Either. They're just like, yeah, that fucking guy. Well, cause I think the pride part only kicks in, right? If you're fighting him, if it turns into the whole, like, Oh, Challenge I'm the better be. swordsman yeah. than he is. I don't think so. No. And then, no, I think it's, if you, cause even in the cartoon, the guy that kills him, the Judicare. The Judicare wins, wins in a sword fight, but he's not like, hmm. he just kind of <laughs> no. like feels good about the kill. And then his fellow space Marine looks at him and goes like, uh, well done, my brother or what? Uh, and that's where the pride kicks yeah, in is I his brother see. recognizes yeah. his combat efficiency. Another fucking guy. Fuck that's all. why the other chaos space Marine in that show, when they're talking about Lucius says, if you're going to do it, use a servitor with an orbital strike from space. Or you will never get rid of him. Like you have to disconnect. Yeah. Yeah. From the kill. Um, but I think that also comes with uh like a drone kill. I think it comes with you have to know who the fuck it is. Yeah. You have to know who it like, is. Like if it's just another body on a battlefield. Yeah, I feel proud of it. Yeah. 
So uh, maybe I mean I don't know I don't know because there, there's some Marines that are like oh that was a good fight but I but well and I think that's the whole like did you cross blades or right. was that just the whole like you know well, some Terminator can, with a fucking rocket pod but just does it get fucking his, obliterates no, him. but then like even then they could be like even if they don't know who he is they can be like oh we killed another of our fucking fallen brothers brother yeah well I think that's why I say Tiberos because I don't think yeah I don't Toblerone think, I don't Toblerone. think he's but I don't think like how nitty gritty does it get though? Because if you the guy gets back, say it's fucking Ben Dibidone, fucking goes and kills him, and they get back and start drinking. He's like, "Yes, we did a great job in the fight today." Is that prideful of the fight? Yes, no, it is. being no, prideful. You of can be the pride kill? of the war. Of the war, mm-hmm. you have to be proud that you killed Lucius. Mm-hmm. Like you have to feel good about the fight, and that's why I'm we saying need this something an experiment. like that's why I'm saying something like Tiberos because Tiberos isn't. The fight's not going to be a challenge. Yeah. And since there's no challenge, mm-hmm. you know, that's like, I'm not happy when I open the fucking fridge door. There's no challenge to open the yeah. fridge door. Like I just open the fridge door. Angron. Uh, mm, I don't know about Angron. I actually don't think that Angron would be able to. I don't think Angron could kill him, to be honest with you. Well, if, if Angron could kill him. He's just a sad boy anyway, so he's, he's just very angry constantly boy. in pain. He's very very but, angry boy. But he would devote the fight to corn, which would mean that he feels some sort of pride in the fight. But he doesn't really devote anything to corn. He just he, he turned to chaos to try to corn. stop Horus, and then was like, "We get buried and put nails in my skull." No, I'm very upset. No, he did that when he was a gladiator. And I'm really sad about it. Very mad about it. I was going to follow up with which of the Primarchs that are currently in the 40k do you think? Which living Primarch Primarch? could kill him without pride? Mm. Ooh. Alfarius. Alfarius probably could do it. Alfarius could do it, although there's the argument Mm. that Alfarius is actually dead. Oh, my God. (laughs) Um, I don't think he's dead. But supposedly he is actually killed by... um, He's not. uh, Jagatai, right? Doesn't Jagatai stab him in the chest? No, Dorn. Dorn stabs him in the chest. Well, Dorn stabs who he believes to be Alfarius on the chest. Well, they all say I'm Alfarius. Um, it's hard to understand. Well, he's carrying the spear. That's why they assume that it's, it's very confusing. Uh, if so one, is Solomon. If one Alfarius kills him, does all the Alfarius turn into him? Well, we don't. Well, every nobody space actually knows who Alfarius. Alfarius looks like because Alfarius is like small, like, like a normal space. Yeah, marine. he's space marine sized. That's what I'm like. Um, <laughs> we'll get into all that. I can go on and on about the Alpha Legion. Um. What living Primarch could do it? Alfarius, I think, could do it. Um, mainly because he's going to know exactly what happens. Uh, so I think, if anything, he goes into some sort of trance state to where it's just a kill and there's nothing attached to it. Um, oh, what's his name from the... Was it Corvus? Corvus Corax? Yeah. He's dead. I don't know his... He's uh, not dead. He's, not dead. he's lost, know. but he's not dead. I don't know his temperament. Sad. He's very sad. Sad boy. He's an emo boy. Emo. Yeah. Um, Where are you? And yeah. I'm no, so I don't think. Co- look, I I love my bird boys. I do. They couldn't do it. He is their entire heraldry and their their all of their pride as a legion is from overthrowing the powerful because they were mm. they were like a slave class and then they overthrew those yeah. above them. So then, yeah. You so can. the idea of like taking down somebody. Mm that had kind of been despotic for so long, that would be a like, yeah, yeah this is what we fucking do. <laughs> um, I say Alfarius because they're also really good. They have the tech where they go in and literally can shut off parts of their brain and shit like that's how they blend into other chapters yeah. and shit like that. So I think the ability to, I can see that like shut off all of the emotion on the fight and then just lean in on the Primark capability. Mm-hmm. It, like, Lucius fighting a true Primarch, not Corn, because, or not. Uh, it's Corn. Not Angron. Yeah. Because Angron's not really a Primarch anymore. He's essentially a super demon prince. Like, he's not. Super demon. But prince. he never really functioned like a Primarch, anyways. He was just big. It, like. <laughs> ah, he's big. Well, he didn't lead. His fucking Legion hated him. It, like, he's. he's He didn't want to be there. He's a horrible tactician. Like, he doesn't. He doesn't exhibit any of the other Primarch traits mm-hmm. other than just. I'm fucking big. It, like, big fuck. that's kind of it. 
Um, mm, I think more Terry. No, probably. no. Wait for it. Hold on. It's, she might have an argument here. Go ahead. Okay. With Mortarian, because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. they're uh, Nurgle, mm-hmm. um, so that's a lot of you know um, pesticides, a lot of viral stuff. He could infect Lucius and be like, "Huh, sucks, doesn't it?" And then kind of like walk away, and then Lucius would die eventually from like a toxic virus, poison, whatever, because he's like diseased. Yeah. Um, and then more, I don't think Mortarian would honestly have another, th- another thought about Lucius after he infected him, let him die and just like kind of goes back to Nurgle's garden. Would he be proud of spreading Nurgle's influence? Yeah, no. that's kind of, mm. he is any pride in any part of it. I guess that you have to look at the definition of pride. I don't think Mortarian feels anything. That's the thing. I don't think he feels sadness. He doesn't feel joy. He doesn't feel pleasure. He doesn't, he is void of everything because he is a pestilence material kind of personified. So you're saying he wouldn't feel anything because Mortarian has essentially just gotten to, he is now just an avatar of Nurgle. Right. Like this isn't an independent. But then would Nurgle become? Nurgle would definitely be prideful. Oh yeah. But not Mortarian. Uh, I think Nurgle Mortarian is actually is... probably the out of the four chaos gods. He's probably the least mm-hmm. proud of anything. He's kind of the most mellow. He's very he's much mellow. Everything but... die, everything birth. Like no. there's a death and a revival and a renewal yeah. of everything. Mm. I don't know. The Mortarian one's interesting. Like if it's truly just an avatar of Nurgle with no emotion, I don't think he's emotional. I could see that. But I also don't think Mortarian's like 100% bad chaos. Like, I don't think Nurgle's like bad. Nurgle's one of those like weird. Nurgle's is. Nurgle is what people I think would call a necessary evil. Yeah. Because he's really just the god of entropy and change, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you, it has to. Without death, Death you can't define life. Mm -hmm. Like, you have to have the other side. And so he represents pestilence and and decay and Mm -hmm. change and, and. yeah. Because e- entropy has to exist for us to put value on anything else. So yeah. it, it has to exist. It's kind of like saying, um, like, nobody's, I can't say nobody. Most people's favorite bird is going to be like a buzzard. What? But, but they, they're like, but they necessary. But they are necessary. Yeah. So. Well, that's like, we need, things. like, we have gut bacteria. Mm-hmm. We're taught over and over and over again, bacteria is bad, wash your hands, da 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 da. But without bacteria, you have no immune system. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like you can't fight off. Can't digest anything. You, you know, you can't fight off basic illness. You can't digest. Like you can't do any of that um, without it. So, okay. We're down to less than a minute. Everybody's final vote. Mortarian. Who do you think? You're going Mortarian. No, I'm sir. All right. I'm, I'm sticking with, I'm sticking with, uh, with Shark Boy. Hoo-ha-ha. Hoo-ha. Mainly because Lava Girl's not available. Hey. Or is she? Slanesh's bit. Lady Gaga! No! No! Anyways, there you have it, everybody. The very first Warhammer uh, D&D session. Drink and debate. Legally separated. Um, Trademarked. Uh, we loved having you. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, there may be some other stuff coming up where you can give some recommendations uh, to Google's. On some debate yeah. topics. Uh, so that we don't have it. But we're, we're not ready to release that yet. But we may be getting there. Very secret. Uh, so anyways, uh, just like the other show, games, drinks, and hijinks, go out and find them all. Uh, we're going to go see if we can't channel in old Lehman and see whether or not he could do the fight uh, or if he knows somebody that could because if he says that it can happen... Then he was right. Yep. So uh, anyways, uh, battlepub.com. You can get all of your merch over there for the show. Nice. And uh, I'm going to go drink with my friends. Hell yeah, brother. All right. Hit him with a Caitlin. Bye. Gotta guard my tooth. <laughs> I saw it. I saw it.